This Equipment World video is brought to you by Philips 66 Lubricants, keeping the world running smoothly. What's going on guys, Wayne here. So look, in our last video, we talked about Cat's new 315 excavator. At 15 metric tons, this machine is slotted in Cat's small excavator lineup, and it's replacing the F-Series generation of that machine, the 315 FL. Now look, there's a number of big improvements that CAT has made on the 315, and really all of them together add up to one main improvement, and that is a lot more speed. But look, we had so much to cover in that video on the 315, uh, a new hydraulic system, a new engine, a new cab, lower maintenance costs, and a lot more. So if you haven't already, be sure to check that video out on the 315 as well. But we had so much to cover in that video that we didn't have time to cover the other new 315 excavator model that CAD has put out, the 315 GC. So that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. We're gonna discuss the new 315 GC. We're going to talk about how it compares to that standard 315, what it offers versus what that standard 315 offers, and who exactly should consider this GC model over the standard 315. Because as big of an upgrade as the new 315 is over the 315 FL that it replaces, there's just a lot of jobs, a lot of customers out there that don't really require the extra technology and the extra expense that come along with that new 315 when a GC model would fit you just fine. All right, the 315 GC, let's get into it. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty on the 315 GC and talking about what it is and what it isn't in comparison to the standard 315, let's start off with talking about what the 315 GC is. Now, like we said at the top, like the 315, the 315 GC is a 34,000 pound excavator, putting it in that 15 metric ton size class, and it's part of CAT's small excavator lineup. And that's a step above its mini or compact models, but it's right below its midsize or medium size size models like the 320s and all the way up to the 335. Now within that small excavator lineup, the two 315 models really kind of sit right there in the middle between the 13 metric ton 313 and the 18 metric ton 317. And as such, these two machines are really suitable for a wide variety of jobs and across many different job sites, grade work, sloping, trenching, foundations, utility work, you name it, really the 315 and the 315 GC can probably tackle it. Now the other key piece to the 3 15 GC and the 315 is that they are compact radius excavators with only about five feet one inch of tail swing radius. So you're going to be able to get both of these machines into some pretty tight spaces for digging and lifting. Now, because of that small size, these machines are also easy to transport too. And look, while digging forces don't really measure up to what you're going to get out of a midsize excavator, the 315 GC's max cutting depth of 19 feet, six inches, and its max loading height of 23 feet, six inches, they compare very favorably with those larger and even midsize machines. Now that 19 feet and six inches of cutting depth that you're going to get on both of these 315 models. It's a little short of what you're gonna get, you know, a few feet short of what you're gonna get out of say a medium sized excavator. However, that 23 feet, six inches of max loading height is actually more than you'll get on an excavator like the 330. And look, when you take into account that loading height and a tail swing radius that is about half of what you get on the 330. You know, you've got a machine that's suitable for much more than just utility work or on residential sites. Like these machines are right at home on even large infrastructure jobs and more of them than you might think are actually out there loading trucks. Now I've been trying to note this along the way, but just to reemphasize everything that we've gone over so far, the cutting depth, the loading height, the size, weight, transportability, all of that is exactly the same across both of these models, the 315 and the 315 GC kind of share all of those similar aspects. And the other thing they share in common, the other big thing they share in common is the reduction in maintenance costs that CAT has brought to these new models over the 315 FL. Now, thanks to the elimination of certain filters and large interval extensions to others, such as the 50% increase to 3000 hours on the hydraulic oil filter, both of these new 315 models can save you up to 25% on your maintenance costs over what you had on the 315 FL. Beyond the maintenance savings, another cost that you're gonna save on with both of these new 315 models is fuel costs. Cat says you can expect up to 15% in fuel savings. Of course, you probably saw this coming thanks to the eco mode, but also thanks to the new smart mode that CAT has implemented on both of these models. Now, the big deal with smart mode is that when you put it into this mode, it's kind of switching between what you would typically consider 
an eco mode and a power mode. So it's got a bent that's really trying to save fuel, but it's doing that without putting a cap on your available power. Now we cover that a lot more extensively in our video on the 315. So if you want more information on those working modes, be sure to check out the video on the 315 for that. So as we've established, these two models share a lot in common all the way to the point that even the five primary differences that they really have, three of those five differences are really just differences in shared hardware. It might be a little confusing, but you'll see what I mean. All right, so because we were just talking about uh, working ranges and dimensions a second ago, to lead us off with the first kind of big difference between the 15 and the 15 GC is the 15 GC's extra reach. You'll actually get 28 feet of reach at ground level, with the 315 GC compared to the 19 feet six inches of reach that you get on the standard 315. Now that is according to CATS spec charts that they list on their website. So you'll get about nine more feet of reach if you go with the 315 GC over the standard 315. The second big difference is that though both of these machines are powered by the same CAT C 3.6 engine, that engine makes 108 horsepower on the standard 315 and only 98 horsepower on the 315 GC. The third big difference between these machines has to do with hydraulics. Both of these machines actually feature the same new hydraulic system. Unlike the 315 FL that they replace, the 315 and the 315 GC have electronically controlled hydraulics. Now, as we discuss in more detail in our video on the 315, these new hydraulics on the 315 have made for both faster control response and higher hydraulic flow. However, while the 315 GC should benefit from that same increase in control response time that we're seeing on the standard 315, thanks to that switch to electrohydraulic controls, thanks to that elimination of pilot lines in favor of electronics, Kat says that the 315 GC's hydraulic power and thus its overall speed are actually lower compared to what is found on the standard 315. So that kind of points out the first kind of really key difference between these two models is that with that 315 for the extra money that you'll be paying for the standard 315 over this GC model, one of the big differences that you'll be paying for, some of your money will be going toward you know more power in the hydraulics and a lot of that is because some of the optimizations that CAT made with the hydraulics on the 315 that weren't made on the 315 GC. Now in the end, these faster hydraulics that are on the 315, they amount to about an 8% productivity boost on that 315 over what you had on the 315 FL. In contrast, on the 315 GC, CAT says that you can basically expect about the same performance on the 315 GC as you had on the previous generation 315 FL. So really, can, when you kind of break all of that down, you're talking about an 8% difference in productivity on the 315 versus the 315 GC. All right, so when you put all of that together, you kind of start pulling this 315 GC more into focus as to why you would consider it, because basically you're still getting what is still very capable kind of performance, that F-series level of excavator performance that you had on on the 315 FL, but you're also getting some of the new stuff that the standard 315 offers. You're getting the electrohydraulic controls, you're getting the big maintenance savings and the big fuel savings as well. With the GC, you're also going to be getting the same next generation cab design that is found on the standard 315. Now with this cab, vertical visibility has been increased by more than 60% over the cab that was found on that 315 FL, thanks to larger front, rear and side windows and narrow cab pillars. Now, vibration has also been reduced thanks to viscous cab mounts. Plus, like the 315, the 315 GC also comes standard with rear view and right hand side view cameras. Now, just like we talked about with the engine and hydraulics, which both of these models share, even though these models share the same cab, there are some differences to know about. Before we get into that, I do want to take a quick second and talk to you about our sponsor for this video, Phillips 66 Lubricants. Moving piles of earth, extreme hot and cold conditions, you know, obviously constraints construction and mining are tough environments. They're run by tough machines and those tough machines need the toughest lubricants available to protect them. Now there are thousands of mining operations in the US and 60% of them trust just one brand to keep their equipment going and that is Phillips 66 lubricants. Now they've put thousands of hours into testing and when you look at the results, it's pretty clear why so many operations put their trust in Phillips 66. Take Gardol ECT. It far outperforms the competition in wear protection and corrosion tests. So whatever you've got, graders, end loaders, dump trucks, 
Philips 66 will protect it. Our thanks again to Philips 66 Lubricants, keeping the world running smoothly. For starters, you're gonna get an eight inch touchscreen on the GC model as opposed to the 10 inch touchscreen that's found on the standard 315. Second, instead of a see-through kind of poly hatch uh, in the top of the cab that's found on the standard 315, giving you a little bit more visibility, a little bit more light in the cab, you're gonna get an opaque kind of steel hatch on the 315 GC. And third, instead of the kind of uh, air ride suspension and heated seat that's found on the standard 315, the GC model has a mechanical suspension seat. Now, all of this brings us to what, you know, beyond kind of that difference in hydraulic power is really the second primary difference between the 315 and the 315 GC, and that is standard technology. Now look, that 315 comes absolutely packed with standard technology features. You've got CAT payload for real-time payload measurement as standard. You've got CAT grade with 2D for 2D indicate. That's a standard feature. You've got standard you know, vision link telematics. You've got standard uh, 2D e-fence, basically a, a nice safety system that keeps that keeps that bucket from going places that you don't want it to go, including right into the cab. Um, you've also got remote flash, which is gonna let you, to, you know, like dealer technicians to remotely kind of tap into your machine and run diagnostics and troubleshoot and also remotely upgrade firmware. And the thing is, the 315 comes packed with all that stuff and none of it is there on the 315 GC. It's really kind of the biggest difference, but for a lot of people, it's gonna be kind of a relief. Now look, I alluded to this on our video on the 315 just because of the sheer number of standard technology features that this new model offers, but CAT excavators are really starting to differentiate themselves from the competition, not just on kind of like the quality of their machine control technology and their machine telematics technology, but really on the standard inclusion of all of this technology on new models, on these next generation models like the 315. Now I point out this differentiation as kind of key to understanding the difference between this 315 and 315 GC because, you know, CAT is aware that it, you know, no matter what machine type we're talking about, CAT is aware that it is pretty much by default the premium option whenever it comes to someone trying to make a decision between them and another brand. And it's not like competition has gotten weaker for CAT over time. If anything, over the years, you know, there's been more and more parity among construction equipment brands and among construction equipment models. So really CAT here is kind of having to, you know, draw a line in the sand with this strong package of standard technology on its standard models to really justify the added expense of those machines, those machines like the 315. However, CAT also knows that not everybody out there needs all of that technology on every machine and certainly not on every job site. A lot of you out there probably need a 15 metric ton machine maybe as a support machine or a machine that you only use on certain jobs, a machine that maybe you use maybe between 400 and 500 hours every year. If that's the case, then you won't be using the 315 as a production machine and you probably don't need things like, you know, real-time payload measuring or 2D grade indicate. With the 315 GC and really all of the GC models across the entire entire CAT machine lineup. CAT is really trying to meet customers in the middle. With the 315GC, they're trying to give you the excavator that you need without all of the stuff that you don't. Now, for a lot of folks, that means, you know, you want, you know, solid performance, proven performance, like what you had on the 315FL, and you're getting that now at a lower upfront price, and you're getting lower owning and operating costs as well. And look, beyond giving customers kind of more control and more ability to make sure that the machine that they're buying is actually kind of the machine that they need. You know, the GC models also kind of offer a lower barrier uh, to entry into getting into a CAT machine, you know, for first time CAT customers, or even for those out there who always thought that maybe, you know, CAT was just beyond their budget for a machine. Now, I bring all of this up because I've had multiple conversations with CAT's retail development manager for North America, Alex Stockman, over the last couple of years. And one of the big things that Alex has been working on, one, is trying to remove some of the mystique around, you know, the way cat prices its machines. And two, she's also been doing a lot of work to kind of dispel the notion that a lot of folks may have around cat machines, you know, especially for like, you know, one guy or one gal and a truck and a trailer kind of operations, trying to dispel that notion that cat is, you know, preventatively out of their price range. It's a big reason that cat has actually moved to on machine pricing at its dealership locations, actually putting a price tag on some of its kind of smaller or BCP type of products 
products like backhoes or compact wheel loaders, et cetera, putting price tags on those things, actually putting models out in front of the dealership with a sale price on it, and actually you know, showing a number to people either passing by or milling about the dealership. And one of the things that Alex has mentioned to me is the kind of surprise that a lot of customers have had when they see the actual price of the machine. And it has kind of dispelled some of that notion that cat machines are out of certain, you know, landscapers or small contractors range. And it's it's also why kind of value or budget minded models like the GC models, like this 315 GC, you know, and kind of their uh, pairing of, you know, strong performance and durability and cost reduction. Um, and, you know, all of the advances that really come with new models over time, like the improvements in maintenance and, and you know, fuel efficiency and stuff like that. And pairing all of that with that lower upfront cost on a GC model, that's going to be a very important model for the company's lineup in general, kind of moving forward. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap up our look here at the new 315 GC Next Generation Excavator from Caterpillar, kind of what it offers versus what it doesn't offer compared to that standard 315. But obviously we wanna hear what you guys are thinking. Drop us a comment below on your thoughts on the 315 GC, how it stacks up to that standard 315, and any other thoughts you might have about this kind of segment of the excavator market. Drop us a comment below, we always love hearing from you. You guys. And if you like this video and found the information in it useful in any kind of way, but especially in your next machine purchase or rental, do us a favor and hit that like button below. It really helps our channel out. And if you want more coverage and more videos of construction equipment, head on over to our website at equipmentworld.com. And while you're there, subscribe to our daily newsletter. And if you haven't already subscribed right here on YouTube, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell, turn on notifications to make sure you're getting up to the minute alerts exactly when we drop a new video. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We always appreciate the time and we'll see you in the next one.